Good morning guys, it's Rachel from Kiss and Makeup, and today I'm going to be showing you how I do my hair in the new Lips for Darker Skin video. Um, I'm kind of in a rush, I do have to go to class today, and I have a test, so I'm just kind of like really rushing to get this done. Um, I might not even be talking to you half the time, so don't be offended. And I can't even find my little brush, but anyway. Um, so first of all, I've already washed, shingled, and diffused my hair. I shingled it with this Shea Moisture I got from Target, it's an organic product product and I also put a little bit of sun sick I mean sun silk captivating curls and some Pantene curly hairstyle cream um, the Pantene is a new product and I will be doing a review on it if you guys want to check it out but anyway um, what I've done is I've just taken my brush and I've just smoothed back my edges just like this and I put it in some bobby pins and I did the same to the other side so, the next thing that I'm going to do is take out my Bantu knots. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 Bantu knots. And um, if you guys don't know how to do Bantu knots, just inbox me and I will be happy to do a tutorial. I know I said I was going to do one like last summer, but time just got ahead of me and I never got a chance to. But um, be careful for bobby pins that are snagging. You really don't want to break your hair, especially your hair is more fragile when it's natural. So, just be careful. My hair is not wet, just to clarify. Um, I did diffuse it and I let it air dry overnight. So, it's not wet at all. Just curly. So, what you do is you just pull them out and you can see what they look like. And then, I did do them in a two-strand twist first. So, I just pull, pull the two-strand twist apart. You guys can see and see they come out to be little curls now if you'd like to you can do your whole head like this it just take a while but I have done my whole head like this and it came out really pretty so it's definitely something you can try but that is how I get the front of my hair to look the way it did in the new lips for darker skin video I just band to not the pomodora I'm so sorry I'm rushing like this. I just got up late. Sleep was feeling real good to me. I did not want to get out of the bed. So I'm still taking these out. Whew. It's hot here in my house. Okay. So now that you have them all out, I try not to even like brush them. I just go ahead and put them back into the pomodoro. I don't separate them anymore or anything. Um, if you begin to separate them a whole lot, they will frizz. And then I don't think you would be happy with the outcome. Um, now I will give you the suggestion. If you do decide to do bantu knots for your whole head, I do separate them, but I do way more and I do them much smaller so I don't have to do as much separating just because of the fact that they do frizz up when you separate them a whole lot. So now I just go ahead and shape my pomodoro so the sides that are like squared or sticking out, I just take a bobby pin, I stick it right in loosely. See like this part, too square for me, stick it in and it's just kind of there. Okay. So we're almost done. See how quick this is? What time is it? Okay. So the next thing I use is this banana clip. I don't know. Can you see? It looks like there's a clear. It's a banana clip. And it, they open at both ends. And it's really, really strong. So what you do is you put it in your hair as if it's going to curve over the back of your head. So I just go ahead and put it in. And the reason I use a banana clip is because... If you use a ponytail holder, your hair is not, especially in its natural state, it's not going to be like as long. Like my ponytail is this long when it's flat ironed. So when it's in my natural state, it looks like just a little puff. I mean, it's cute sometimes, but I don't want that all the time. So on the initial try, it can be super hard because your hair is way thicker. Like I said, in its natural state, your hair is much different. So what I do is I just go ahead... 
and I gotta work it like you really have to work getting it in but once you get them to meet the issue is getting the two the little connecting part to meet but once you get them to meet they fit in each other extremely tight so all you have to do is really get it to meet and you're good so I'm almost there So once you get them to me, you just gotta push them together, which I just did. And then you just gotta form your ponytail to be the shape you want it to be. I like mine bigger, oh crap, bigger at the top. That's the first time that's ever happened, oh my gosh. Once you get it on, it usually stays. Maybe I had too much hair in between it or whatever. There we go. It should stay now. Okay. So, you just really got to work your ponytail. Get it to the shape you want it, the size you want it. It doesn't have to be so big. Try not to separate your curls. And then what I do is I just smooth this down some more. It's a little bit. Oh, my God. What's my time? Okay, cool. Um, I smooth this down with some water. Usually at this point I have not done my makeup, but because I'm in such a rush and need to be out of this house and in my car within like three minutes, I just went ahead and did my makeup, got dressed and everything. So after I smooth that down with the water, I go ahead and I put a little bit of beeswax on my edges. You can use whatever you like. Um, I like beeswax just because my hair is so, so curly naturally and nothing will hold down my edges, so, but beeswax. So, I usually have like a little really coarse toothbrush that I do my edges with, but I can't seem to find it at the moment. But anyway, I'm going to continue to shape this um, till I get the shape that I want. Um, but this is the gist of things. Like, this is how it looks. I will try my best to post pictures. I'm using a new technique with my video, so I'm still kind of learning how to take pictures and put the music and everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I really love doing tutorials for you guys. Um, and this was one that was requested by a lot of people. So I just wanted to show you, if you have any questions on specifics, such as how I bantu knot, how I shingle, how I diffuse. I will do videos on that when I have more time. I have no problem doing that for you guys. So just let me know. Go ahead and inbox me. And um, thanks for watching. Love you guys. Bye.